Hi, I'm Brian Hone, and welcome back to In the Studio, a new series that takes you into the studios of a few artists who call Boston home. Last week, we met up with Christian Restrepo in the Fashion Design Department studios at Mass Art. This week, we'll visit Raina Lowe, a calligrapher, illustrator, and educator in Boston. Let's head into the studio with Raina. It started off with a lot of curiosity. I picked up a Chinese calligraphy brush, a traditional one, and started writing. And I just loved it so much um, because when you're writing out the characters, you learn so much about the history. There was an intent to do art with it. It was just to learn and to be more close to my culture. And I just love the history of the characters, like learning the etymology behind what they mean and how they came to be. It's been such a fun journey and I learned so much about myself and what I want to see in the world through my art. Studying traditional Chinese calligraphy is, is so ancient. People back in the day have been doing this for thousands of years. The advice that I would give to someone just starting out is to just draw. I think the biggest mistake artists make is that they want to define themselves so quickly. They want to find their style really quickly. For example, parents always ask, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I'm sure your six-year-old self said you wanted to be a cowboy. Well, I don't think that's true now, so you have to allow yourself to change and to learn new things because then that's the only way that you're going to develop yourself as an artist. So I am so excited to be working with the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. First of all, it's such a beautiful museum. I wanted to take so many elements of each like disparate room and put it together. I am so inspired by the gorgeous courtyard. Like right when you walk into the museum and you see that courtyard, you're just like, wow, like this is amazing. I am really excited to bring home that art experience, especially during this time. I really want to foster creativity, I want to inspire creativity, and to make people think about art in an easy way so that they can actually do it with their family. There's just so many little things that I love about the museum and I was so inspired by that. So I wanted to put something together where to, to bring that energy home for everybody. So I took a bunch of pictures and drew out a bunch of sketches and I kind of wanted everybody to see the museum from an artist's perspective. And I wanted them to see, oh, like I didn't think about thinking of it that way or I didn't even know that that was there. I wanted to bring these digital workshop series to your home in connection with the Isabella Stewart Gardner's uh, collaboration with Shen Wei's exhibit, Painting in Motion. So Shen Wei does a lot of traditional art, but he also pairs it with contemporary art as well too. And I wanted to bring those contrasting elements home to you to show you that you can pair traditional art and modern art together in our own way. Each month we'll be exploring a different theme. I've prepared some floral illustrations that we can all do at home and I want to invite you to the creative process on how to create art. I'm going to break it down into simple instruction so that it's easy to follow and I want you to be surprised and delighted with what you guys can create. These workshops will be taking place inside my studio and I want to take this opportunity to invite individuals into my creative space. I love to stay connected with you. You can find me at my website, reinalo.com, or on Instagram, reina.lo. Reina, thanks for inviting us into your studio, and thank you for joining us for this first series. Up next, we'll head back into the studio with Reina for a series of workshops offered in connection with the Gardner Museum's upcoming special exhibition, Shen Wei Painting in Motion. We'll see you in the studio with Reina.